everyone johnny here today in this session we will discuss about events in react in our previous session we have discussed about states now in this we will try to cover about events for both functional components as well as class components so before understanding about the event let us let me write a small snippet so that we can understand it let me take out a new file i am trying to continue in the previous workspace which we have created in the previous session the save the file i am trying to save the file as click function dot js and i am trying to import the package import react from in order to import the react library we are trying to use it next one i am trying to create functional component here function click click function in this i am trying to re return the jsx element let me write div sorry let me write some div element here i am trying to write today's topic is about hello events here so let me write this example and we are trying to export it export default we can write any name and uh, i'm trying to import this functional component here to display in the root container name is click function we have exported the functional component here now we need to import it i'm trying to write down click function from yes so we have written a small uh, basic example of a functional component here as we have discussed in the previous sessions now let me check the output of the snippet yes we got hello events now let us write some code to perform some event in this so first i am trying to take a button in instead of this hello events i am trying to take a button i am trying to write click me so let us check the output of the snippet yes we got click me here so if you can see we are try we are uh, trying to create some code like we are trying to take a file click function dot js we have imported the react library and we are trying to use function component in the first example and we have exported this function component and we are trying to uh, use it here and we are trying to display in the root container now we got an output like this like you need to write npm start after that you will get an output in this browser now what i'm trying to do is that i i want to write some event here in uh, normally in a javascript if you see in js we can write an event as if we can pass it as a string followed by the values for example see here uh, when you write button space uh, click is on click is equals to you will write as the function name whatever you want to call but in the functional component we should able to write event handler here in the sense in the js we will pass a string followed by the call that is the function call what you want to call but in react we need this with a jsx that is we will be using the syntax let us look into the example so that we can elaborate it much clearly now i am trying to write on we need to use camel case camel case here and i am trying to use event handler so i am trying to write check check status i am trying to check the status i am trying to check the status here so in javascript we used to write we used to give this function call but in this we will not give let us understand why we should not place this parenthesis here now i am trying to define this thing now i want to define this function if i want to define this function where you can write we can write it here so i am trying to write function inside a function which is allowed so in this i am trying to write check status i am trying to define this check status so see here using a uh, camel case on click and event handler we are trying to call a function here so in this i am trying to write console.log 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 i am trying to write welcome to johnny tutorials welcome to johnny tutorials i have written in this way so in this i am trying to write a button with an event that is on click it is similar for all the events like mouse events all the events 
so we call it as a click handler in the sense event handler we for use it using the curly braces we will use this handler using curly braces now let me check the output of the snippet when I'm trying to click on it let me check the output in the browser I'm using F12 or you can click on inspect button inspect or you can use F12 so can you see some output here yes we got welcome to Johnny tutorial so this is how we have used a functional component like this so for example see here uh, normally uh, I'm trying to re refresh this I'm trying to refresh this sorry uh, I'm trying to refresh this now if I'm trying to write in this way for example naturally I have written like this by default I have placed a parenthesis then what is the meaning of this so we are getting an output without a click event so we are trying to there is no use of like we are without performing an event we are trying to perform the operation of it now you got it so we should not place parenthesis for this function so this is how we have defined with a functional component and make sure you should never use the parenthesis for the check stated check status because it will be called automatically when we click on the button it will not ha nothing will happen now let us use the same events for the class component I'm trying to take a new file control N or you can write file new I'm trying to take a new file now and this I'm trying to define the class name as click class in this I'm trying to import the react library first import react from react in this I'm trying to use class component class in most of the editors you will be having uh, by default keywords uh, which we no need to write all these snippets you will get a by default generated code the layout part component I'm trying to extend the react dot component so that we get all the functionalities of this class now in this I'm trying to write a render in this render let us write jsx part if we have only one line we no need to place this parenthesis and all now in this we are trying to write div sorry it's div now in this we are trying to again we are trying to call some button on click sorry it's on click it's camel case equals to and I we should able to call the, the thing here click me click me so this is how we have defined a button now so in the same way how we have defined for the functional component we are trying to do the same thing here now I should able to uh, remove this thing and I'm trying to import this class component I should able to export this one also export default click class so I got it I got like this so you got the same thing are you getting some output here now let me save the file yes it is done can you see some output here yes it is trying to get the output of this function component here so we have used click function sorry we haven't done this thing yes now now we can check the output of this snippet yes we didn't get any output so let us uh, write the some code of this component again we are trying to define check status here as we have done in the functional component check status so let me call this like I have written console.log welcome to react react by Johnny so it will try to display in the browser so I should able to call this thing in the functional component we have written like we have just called this method in the sense the function but in this if you want to call this we need to write uh, this keyword followed by the method name that is the function name so here button on click is equal to this dot check status so this is only the difference between the class as well as this function component in the class component we will be using a keyword of this so adding an event uh, event handler we are trying to add an attribute that is on click to the button and we are trying to pass the event ha event handler and we are trying to call this method we are using this keyword like 
in order to perform this event so let me check the output of the snippet now yes we got see you can see based on the clicks it is trying to change so make sure you will never place parentheses here so this is how we have done with the events basic events for a beginner for the class component as well as for the function component so let us look, let us look into the presentation part so that we can elaborate it what we have done so far so in this uh, events let us elaborate this thing so in the events we have started with events are the actions that are used to perform some uh, like mouse over click key press key down all the things whatever we have used to perform in javascript we can also perform in the react so for example if i want to write an event in html like we will be using this uh, syntax like in html we used to write like this button on click equals to shoot oh, parenthesis but in react we should able to write button on click equals to curly braces we call it as event handler in on click is equals to we should able to write this parenthesis we call this as react event handlers and it should be of small camel case and it should be of camel case now let us look into the example how it is written in our example we have written uh, to check the status like when we click on a button it is able to print some output in the same way let us use, uh, check this snippet also here in this example we are trying to use a class component we are trying to extend it uh, react.component so that it gets all the functionalities to this class and uh, we are trying to render it we are trying to use a jsx that, that is javascript extension or xml we are trying to use button on click is an attribute here and it is an event handler in the class component we use this keyword this dot shoot and we should never place parentheses that means even if we don't perform the event also it will try to print the output so we will never place the parentheses here and in this we are trying to call this class component in the root container so in that example we have taken a separate file that is index.js we can write in the same file also now when the user clicks on this button you will get output as great shot if you have any queries on this events you can just drop us a mail or comment below this video thank you